Okay so apparently I have finally crossed 500 subs. I'm thanking each and every one of you that decided to subscribe to me. Because you'll have made me so happy. Oh also, be sure to watch the first part of this video as well. Because it's genuinely hilarious. If I do say so myself. And be sure to subscribe to me if you like this video. Let's start. Number 1. I used to think G Friend's debut song was Glass Bread and Not Bead. <laughs> this made me laugh so much I had tears in my eyes. Whoever you are, you're iconic. Number 2. Blackpink songs ain't that good. Okay wow. This is a very controversial one. I don't agree with this though. Look, Blackpink had some amazing songs before, and I haven't exactly fallen in love with more recent releases. But I've gotta say, Blackpink's discography isn't as bad as a lot of y'all think. Look, if you say Whistle or really is a bad song, I don't trust you at all. Number 3. I once read a fanfic about an idol doing illegal things but I didn't realize it was a fanfic. I thought it was a news report or something, and I was so confused because I couldn't find any info on the scandal I'm embarrassed of how stupid I am. OMG y'all are way too hilarious. But this could totally happen at the beginning of your K-pop standing days. I'm glad you figured out that it wasn't real news though. Please don't go to Wattpad for news. Number 4. I thought Jin and Jizu were twins because of how similar they look and their names were also the same. Okay so I'm just gonna spill my own tea here and agree with you. They still look very similar to each other, at least for me. They both have such classic visuals which is why I think a lot of people mistake them for being related. Number 5. I have been an army for 3 years and I still don't know the fan chant. No one should call me a fake fan cuz it's annoying. It's totally fine to not know a fan chant. Like think about it. Fan chants are literally you just yelling their names. But in a particular order. Who even cares if you know it or not. Also, you're totally not a fake fan at all and whoever calls you one is just a clown. Number 6. I kind of find the age gap between Heechul and Momo uncomfortable. I'll be very honest and say that at the beginning. I kind of found it weird as well. It's a 13 year age gap, so I wasn't exactly sure. But at the end of the day, idols are normal people and have their own lives to live so I think it's ultimately their decision. Also, I really think Momo and Heechul fit each other really well and I've got a feeling they're going to be together for really long. Number 7. I'm kinda sorta hard stan. I feel like a lot of people are low-key hard stans but don't want to admit it because they think people will find it weird. Well, I don't find it weird or anything. People like what they like. Like Channing Tatum is for middle-aged white ladies in the USA, a K-pop idol may be the equivalent of him for you. It's totally okay to be a hard stan, because K-pop is famous for selling sex appeal and skinship anyway. Number 8. One time my sister said she didn't like a member of BTS and she tripped off to two seconds of saying that. It's what she deserves. Oh my Number god. Nine. I think Blackpink's best comeback was Kill This Love in terms of visuals and music like I love all the songs on the mini album and the MV is everything. I know all the blinks are going to come for me in the comment section, but Kill This Love was not it and nothing is going to change my mind. I will admit that the music video is one of their best ever and the b-sides are okay, but the actual song was bad. Period. Number 10. I love and stan Karchi. While I'm not a fan of Karchi, I don't really hate them either. They need to work on their singing and dancing abilities and they desperately need a better producer. If they just made songs in English, I don't think they would sound so awkward. I don't really understand the massive hate they got just a few months ago. Hating on Karchi is not a personality trait y'all. Number 11. I feel like BTS are dating but don't want to hurt armies so they just say they're not I mean. Is this even a question at this point? They're all in their mid-twenties so obviously they have been dating. Whoever says their oppas aren't dating are delusional. <laughs> Number 12. I used to think Cherry Bullet and Rocket Punch are the same group. Wait a minute. 
Are they not the same group? Sorry for being an uneducated hoe. I legitimately didn't know there were two different groups. Honestly their names just sound really similar. Number 13. I once hated Jungkook cause of his popularity and the amount of lines he gets but now I am starting to like him more. I feel like a lot of new armies generally think this. I lowkey didn't love him at first either, because I thought he was just pushed much more than the other members were, but I quickly realized that's just me being a dumb bitch. Number 14. When I first saw a full picture of Eyes 1 I thought they all looked the same. This was me for every group when I first got into K-pop not gonna lie. But now that I'm able to differentiate features and stuff, I'm able to quickly make out different members. I actually used to think Yeri and Irene were the same person for a solid month. And that's it for today guys. I can't read any more of these. I want to thank all the lovely people that participated in this video. Once again, thank you to all my amazing subs. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you like this video. Stay safe and healthy y'all. See you soon.